the largest, most powerful and most well-known aircraft in the world. And yes, a single prototype. This is the Ukrainian Maria. Commander Mitro Antonov told Zeva L about his experience before he sat behind the steering wheel of this plane. 29 years old, I was a military what unusual cargo does this unusual bird deliver? Do you have any anecdotes to tell? And where is it easier to pilot Maria? In the sky or on the landing strip? Exclusive news with Jeva L in a minute. Don't miss it. Without any exaggeration, Ukrainian Maria is a rock star among aircraft. The arrival of this bird always gathers spectators at airports. More than 16,000 people came to meet the plane in Australia. It was amazing, it was really cool. It was a lot bigger than I expected. In Poland, hundreds of people stood in the cold to watch Maria cut through the clouds with class. This is how the plane is greeted near the home airfield near Kyiv. The captain Mitro Antonov has been flying Maria for 20 years. Mitro also has a popular YouTube channel about aviation. He remembers seeing Maria for the first time when he served in the army in the early 90s. And it was love at first sight. Mitro Antonov inherited his flair for exact sciences from his parents. His mother is a design engineer and his father is Viktor Antonov. The scientist. He was the director of the Mayak plant and the minister of mechanical engineering in the first government of independent Ukraine. His father was friends with the one and only Oleg Antonov, the legendary aircraft designer. Mitro decided to become a pilot out of the blue, six months before graduating from school, but he was not initially accepted for training. He was then accepted at the military aviation school in the Saratov region. Antonov graduated with honours and stayed at the school to work as an instructor. He trained new pilots for five years, and when the collapse of the Soviet Union began, he transferred to Luhansk. Afterwards, he tried to get a position at the Antonov State Enterprise, although this was not easy even for a namesake. Mitro Antonov served in the army for the next four years, until 1993, and even managed to retire briefly. 29 years. The break did not last long. After the second attempt, Antonov was hired by the Antonov Enterprise. However, before getting behind the wheel of Maria, it was necessary to navigate another Ukrainian giant, AN-125 Ruslan and record at least 2,000 flight hours. Mitro recalls the first flight as if it were yesterday. It was 1995. He cannot recall the first Maria flight because both Ruslan and Maria have almost identical controls. We are in the cabin. It is 100% one-to-one, like in Ruslan. The only thing is that there are six 
Mitro Antonov has seen 450 airports in 132 countries worldwide from his cockpit. The total flying record is over 19,000 hours. Очень красивые места это в Тихом океане, например, Гавайи, аэропорт Гонолулу. Чикаго размерами аэропорта там, например, тоже впечатляет. Очень много-много полос. Mitro films his flights and posts the videos on YouTube. Some have over 1 million views. Meanwhile, aviation nerds never stop asking questions and offer advice in the comments. А вы там сценарий напишите, одну камеру сюда поставьте, эту вторую сюда поставьте, а там звук это, я говорю, стоять, 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 я говорю, я же летчик, а не это, мне, говорю, кроме всего прочего, летать надо еще. Even without any special filming equipment, Mitro Antonov's channel earned YouTube's silver button. The pilot has a lot to say about his job because Midia's crew has had many adventures. А в Мрії було таке, що ночували декілька днів? Да, прилетели в Кабул. И у нас там один агрегат отказал. В три дня жили именно на Мрии, там стояли, жили, пока нам не доставили этот агрегат. Антонов speaks highly of the plane. It has everything for a comfortable stay. Beds, a small kitchen and a wardrobe. Во час полёта вы можете прийти сюда, відпочити, и если будет треба, вас покличуть по. Да, да, да. То есть мы договариваемся, если длинный перелёт, сколько через сколько заменить там прийти туда. Два-три посидел на рабочем месте, опять пошёл поменялся. В общем, распределяем силы. The plane is much easier to control when airborne, the pilot admits, due to the enormous size and wingspan. И мы готовимся всегда к прилету на новый аэропорт и обязательно смотрим, какие там есть, например, столбы. И рулить на нем не так просто, потому что вот семь пар, семь рядов колес, и он довольно тяжело разворачивается. Once, an airport in the Philippines refused to accept Maria, so Dmitro Antonov had to take a passenger plane to do some negotiating. Я встретился с руководством аэропорта. Показал, рассказал, сказал, что я персонально буду, мы вот так развернемся, вот так вот станем, мы там ничего не сдуем. Говорит, ну, поверили, приняли. They've come across some anecdotal situations too. Once a military airbase's fencing failed because of the airstream Maria generated on landing. Надо просто было диспетчеру напомнить, например, что мы патрулили дальше. Но забор такой хлипкий, думал, что там починили. Maria is unrivaled in transporting heavy or large payloads, yachts or underground train carriages. Once, Maria was booked to deliver 126 tons of drinking water to an island. A record lift was five tanks amounting of 250 tons of weight. However, this birdie is capable of lifting beautiful things and not only heavy ones. Здесь было натянуто специальное такие оборудование, и слева справа висело 500 картин. И мы даже с этими картинами выполнили полет. Since the beginning of the pandemic, Maria was at the forefront of the fight against coronavirus. It delivered protective masks, suits, and tests around the world. The crew was almost never home. Long business trips take a toll. The pilots miss their families all the time. Интернет, куча всяких мессенджеров в день по несколько раз общаешься, тем более с видеосвязью, поэтому значительно легче переносится, чем раньше. Nevertheless. There is no better job in the world, says Mitra Antonov. I will rest when I retire. У меня еще впереди шесть лет работы, так что еще немножко полетел. Потихонечку готовим смену. Maria was supposed to be in service until 2033 or even longer, following full refurbishment. However, Russian occupation forces launched a massive attack on Hostomel military airport where this beauty was stationed. On Sunday, 27th of February. This engineering wonder that managed to connect people across the globe burned to the ground. Our Maria and everyone's dream was destroyed. <laughs>